Okay, let's talk a little bit about plyometric jumps. When you take a look at the many sites devoted to plyometrics, you'll see all kinds of jump executions. Many of them are really erroneous. They're not plyometric. These are just good jumps. So we have to distinguish jump training from plyometric training. And I'll try bringing that out with a couple of jumps right now with one of our athletes, Josh, who will demonstrate a couple of them. First thing to remember on a plyometric jump, it's very, very powerful. You're jumping for maximum height on every jump. You're trying to execute the takeoff, the landing and takeoff, as quickly as possible. But you take a look at most of the plyos that you see on videos on, on the web, they sink down, take their time, come up slowly. These are jumps. These are not plyos. And if you want to call them plyos, call them lead-up plyos, preparatory plyos. They're getting you ready for true explosive plyometrics. And there's a world of difference in the results that you're going to get from these jumps. They're all good. Don't get me wrong here. They all have a role. But do not confuse plyometric jumps, true plyometric jumps, with jump training or jumps. Now let me just show you a jump that's very that you can see very easily uh, on the web. Uh, let's say you're jumping on a box or whatever. And Josh, what I want you to do is jump up, go all the way down, and you know, just slowly and then jump up again. Okay, good. So you can see he really gets up there. Many people call this plyometric. It is not. Excellent jumps. But it's not plyometric, mainly because he goes too low and he takes too long in the bottom position. Now, Josh, let's change the execution. You're going to make it as quick as you can. As soon as you land, it's like you got fire under your feet. You want to get up in the air again. That's it. Quicker. Don't go down so low. Too low. A little less. Come on, faster. Okay, relax, relax. All right, see, he started off, he was so used to that deep squat, he automatically went back into it. But see, I had to correct him and pull him out of it. See, this is what happens when you do these jumps. They're teaching you bad habits when you get into the explosive work. But a true plyometric exercise got to be executed very quickly. Now, I'm going to have Josh try these again. Uh, and this time, just face the camera this time so we have a di little different view. Take your time on them, relax. See you every time when somebody's on camera, they want to do things differently. So uh, we don't want to change anything now. Just take your time. Remember, as soon as you land, immediately right up again. All right, go. Quicker. Quicker. Get up higher. 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 Okay. Now, okay, good. Thanks. So you can see these are a little bit more like the explosive jump. They can even be a little bit faster. See, he's just getting into the phase of doing true plyometric jumps now. Before he was doing the other jumps, so he's still kind of, his body's locked into the slower jump yet. But in a true plyometric jump, he's going to be even faster. And you're not going to be sinking as low. Okay, so now you have a good idea what it looks like. And it doesn't have to be with double legs. It could also be done with single legs. So let's just try it back up a little bit. Yeah, just do it with single legs on your right or left. Do about five. Come on, higher. Get up higher. Quicker. Come on, higher. 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 Okay, relax. Now you see he started moving all over the place. Again, see these are all new for him. Like I said, he, he, we're not into this phase of the training yet. So that's why we see all this and you'll see this too. And But you can see when it's done quickly how difficult it is to remain in one place. But this comes with the training. As you do these explosive jumps, as you get better at them, you will see the difference. Okay, let's try a couple on the left leg now. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Point those toes. Okay, relax. <laughs> see, I told him to point the toes and messed them up. <laughs> okay, that's why I want you to stay back, see? There we go. Uh, all right, see, uh, the single leg jumps really quite a bit different and they're very intense. So 
So don't do these until you're really physically prepared for them. See, I wasn't worried about Josh doing them. He's prepared for them, even though he hasn't been doing them, but he's ready to get into this phase of the training. See, and then there are many other jumps that can be done that we can address in time, but this should give you a good idea of what a good plyometric jump is. It has to be done as quickly as possible, very fast, especially on a transition from the landing to the takeoff, very fast. Then it'll be plyometric, not just a jump.